Everyone who constantly watches our videos loves to fantasize. And about various topics. We've imagined what would happen if all the water on Earth disappeared. Explored what our planet would be like without the moon. And suspected that there was another planet between Mars and Jupiter. Now it's time for another fantasy. One of the scariest phenomena in the universe is black holes. Their enormous weight warp space and time. Supermassive black holes are hidden in the depths of galaxies, swallowing up millions and billions of stars like the sun. At the edge of the Milky Way galaxy is our solar system, according to scientists. And sometimes they can be believed. There are several million black holes in this galaxy, which are about 30 times heavier than the sun. So black holes are a scary fairy tale only because they're not nearby. But what if a black hole formed in our solar system? Fortunately, the sun will never become a black hole because it would need a mass exceeding that of the sun by a factor of 10 to 15 for such a transformation. If the sun had such a mass, a gravitational collapse could occur in the future under the influence of gravity. Matter would merge into one point. Other stars nearby are also unsuitable for the role of a black hole. Many of them are ordinary red dwarfs with a mass of 8 to 60 percent of our sun. So, let's think about how a black hole could form. There are two options, but if you know others, write them in the comments. The first option is that a black hole spontaneously forms in our vicinity, while the second option is that it wanders through galaxies and visits us from the depths of space. The first option would be possible if we created a black hole ourselves artificially. But that's impossible. As for the second option, astronomers and astrophysicists have confirmed the existence of about 2,000 wandering black holes. But the chances of one of them reaching us are close to zero because the universe is unbelievably vast. But we have imagination, and that means anything can happen. Looking from a distance, a black hole will look like an ordinary massive object. It will obey the laws of gravity, according to which the attraction between two objects is proportional to their mass and decreases with increasing distance. In other words, there is no gravitational difference between a star with a mass of 265 suns and a black hole of the same weight. But everything changes as we approach the black hole. Once an object enters its gravitational field, it will encounter two different sets of rules. This is the general theory of relativity by Einstein, which allows for the existence of black holes that distort space and time, as well as extreme gravity that pushes this distortion to its limits. Finally, as the object gets closer and closer, it will cross the event horizon of the black hole. This is the boundary beyond which even light cannot escape. Now, nothing can stop the movement towards the singularity, the core of infinitely compressed space and time. Here, the physics that we know will be pushed to its limits. As we move further into the black hole, time will slow down significantly. The object will not notice anything. But those who are tracking it will see something like smeared lines. This will continue until the event horizon because if light does not escape beyond it, then nothing and no one can see it. The gravitational distortion of time is a phenomenon that is too weak to be noticed. For example, if you live a billion years at sea level on Earth, you will be a second younger than your peer who lives on top of Everest. But in a black hole, time spins at a crazy speed. Time there is compressed to such an extent that the path to singularity literally becomes the future. Suppose a black hole is hurtling towards the solar system at a speed of tens or hundreds of kilometers per second. But it's black and absorbs light. So how do we detect it? We start by saying that matter torn apart by a black hole will emit radiation as the disk rotates and grows. And the space around it will be very bright in the darkness of space. In addition to this, the black hole will announce itself when it gravitationally interacts with celestial objects like planets, stars, asteroids, and comets. 
The closer the black hole is to our solar system, the more dangerous it is. Of course. As its orbit approaches planets and satellites, the danger increases. Spin a dance like a fly caught in a spider's web. Cataclysms will begin on Earth. Tides, ebbs, and the color of the sky will change. If gravity moves the planet's orbit farther away from the sun, making it more elliptical, temperature and seasonal fluctuations will occur. It is possible that the Earth will fall into the sun or go on a distant journey straight into the depths of space. In this case, all humanity will face a cold death. Let's imagine that a black hole is approaching from the rear of the solar system and appears in the vicinity of Neptune. Then Earthlings will feel it immediately. An ordinary black hole with a mass of 10 suns flying at a speed of 300 kilometers per second would reveal itself at a distance of one-tenth of a light year. If so, a black hole of this size will give the inhabitants of the Earth a minimum of 100 years to put themselves in order before destruction. As it approaches Neptune, the black hole will pull it out of orbit. At the same time, as it absorbs the planet, gas will spiral in a gravitational spiral, like sugar during the creation of cotton candy. The closer the black hole is to Earth, the more the surrounding distortion effect will manifest. Like in a funhouse mirror, all telescopes will see only emptiness in the center of the black hole. If the black hole is supermassive, the fantasy will already end since its event horizon will be five times larger than the solar system. In a small black hole, for example, with a mass of 30 suns, tidal forces caused by increased gravity would tear a person apart long before they reached the event horizon. True, though the gravity is somewhere a million times that of Earth, it will take a person less than a ten thousandth of a second to enjoy the achievement of reaching the event horizon. As for a supermassive black hole with a mass of five million suns, like the one in the center of our galaxy, things are quite different. Any black hole that has absorbed more than 30,000 suns has tidal forces with gravity less than one Earth on the event horizon. Earthlings will have 16 seconds to look around before they reach the singularity point. The greater the mass, the more time. Falling through the event horizon will be a beautiful and terrifying experience at the same time. In a black hole, you can see stars, light goes inside, but not the other way around. And after this short flight, there will be a landing at a point of infinite curvature. Where time and space as we know it will come to an end. How physics works at this point is currently impossible to know. Scientists say that if we understand the heart of a black hole, we, as a human civilization, will uncover all the secrets of the universe. But is that really the case? 